So let's talk about gravity. If we look at a one kilogram mass, if we were to break all the mass up in the planet into one kilogram segments, each of those things um, would accelerate at 9.8 meters per second squared because the earth pulls on everything with 9.8 newtons of force. We're gonna use 10 to simplify. So if we start out with a 10 kilogram dog and a thousand kilogram hippo, the earth is going to pull on every kilogram of this hippo with a force of 10 newtons, which means that that hippo would weigh 10,000 newtons. And the earth is going to pull on every kilogram of the dog with 10 newtons of force, which means that the dog would weigh 10 newtons. So a scale works basically by being in between the object and the pull of gravity. And so the springs are compressed or stretched within a scale, depending on how it works, to um, record the amount of force that gravity is applying to that object. And that is what we call weight. Um, so you can see here, right? The spring squishes inside and records the weights. So like on Earth, a bowling ball, this would be an 11 pound bowling ball. Um, other scales can work like in the grocery store that the spring stretches and that then records how hard gravity is pulling on an object. So weight is telling us how hard gravity is pulling on something, right? Stretching or compressing a spring. So again, we have a hundred kilogram person on earth. That hundred kilogram person is being pulled down every Newton or sorry, every kilogram is being pulled down with 10 newtons of force. So the person weighs a thousand newtons on planet earth which if they were to fall would cause them to accelerate at 9.8 meters per second squared, which is a different video about acceleration. On Mars, Mars is a smaller planet. Mars has a third of the mass of Earth. And so the gravity of Mars is 3.7 Newtons, which means that same 100 kilogram person, right? Because you're still who you are. You're all the bones and flesh and everything is gonna go to Mars and is going to weigh 370 Newtons, would weigh one third that we do on planet Earth. And if a person were to fall on Mars, they would fall with an acceleration of 3.7 meters per second squared. So they would fall a third as fast as well. They would accelerate more slowly on Mars. On the moon, which is much smaller even than Mars, about half the size of Mars, the gravity is 1.6 Newtons of force there. So if a person goes to the moon, still 100 kilograms, still the same person, but they would weigh 160 Newtons. And if they were to fall, they would accelerate at 1.6 meters per second squared. And so if you were to jump on Mars, because there's a third of the gravity, you would jump three times higher and you could jump three times farther. And on the moon, you could jump six times higher and six times farther because the gravity is one sixth what it is on planet Earth. So what happens if we drop one orange and five oranges? Let's put the oranges in a bag and see. <gasps> they hit the ground at the same time, but the bag of oranges is heavier. What's going on? Well the gravity of the earth right is going to pull the same on every single orange and so whereas the single orange is being pulled with 10 newtons of force the bag of oranges is being pulled down with 50 newtons of force so literally the earth's gravitational pull is going to accelerate each one kilogram at 9.8 meters per second squared by pulling on it with 9.8 newtons so that everything is going to hit the ground at the same time and it happens even with a bowling ball and a baseball. If we were to send our dog and our hippo skydiving with some super cool goggles, they would fall towards the earth and accelerate at exactly the same pace because the earth is going to pull a hundred times harder on the hippo than it does on the dog, which would cause them to fall and accelerate at the same rate. So the gravitational force is always going to be greater on objects with more kilograms because the earth is always attracted to greater masses. All this beautiful stuff falling at the same rate works most of the time, except friction is always messing with stuff. So you can see what happens with air resistance in the next video.